Okay, let's try this again. Hey guys, how you doing? Let's me do some commentating time. The topic I have for you today is essentially just a kind of bashing to mm, pretty much everybody who just pops up and just, I know, spews hate forth for the Call of Duty games. Now, let me, before I start this, don't get me wrong. I'm not taking, like, Call of Duty's side in, and defending and saying it was the greatest title ever or whatever. I'm not bashing, say, Battlefield. Even though I do have to mention that a lot of the people who make such comments do also include that Battlefield 3, specifically Battlefield 3, is a better game and <coughs> a more in-depth game or whatever. <coughs> Sorry about that. But again, that's just, I'm just making this clear, this is a disclaimer. Before you people come and flame me and be like, la la la. Now, the main thing is, everybody says Call of Duty is rehashed bullshit. It looks the same, it plays the same, there's no difference each year, year after year, and yet people keep buying it. <coughs> this is not true. The games have all played very differently. All extremely differently, in fact. So differently that I have completely different playstyles for each game. I have to. If I try to use the same playstyles with each game, it will just work for one, maybe partially for, the, for another, and all the rest just gets fucked up. Like for example, I like submachine guns, I don't like assault rifles. I like to strafe. I like to... I don't like to drop shot. I will jump every now and then. I do. Sometimes quite often. But, I, I'm concerned about movement. Being able to move and react and you know, do a lot of good stuff. I like to get away. I like to feel like a butterfly, sting like a bee, however you want to put it. The assault rifles are slow. Can't really do that. It Granted, the walking speed is not much slower than some machine guns, but they have a shorter sprint speed in this game, in Modern Warfare 1, in World at War, in Mono fit 2 on Black Ops and Mono fit 3 doesn't matter. You sprint for 4 seconds in terms of sprint length. You just sprint for 4 seconds regardless of essentially any gun that you have out. It's just your sprint speed will you know affect the distance you travel, but you still sprint for the same amount of time. Which I find is really retarded because you know putting on a pistol and stuff does absolutely nothing but I digress that's what I'd like I like nice good stuff I I find that everything is quite different and I'm I'm quite happy with the way that the differences play out like black ops I can't use black ops tactics in Modern Warfare 2 in Modern Warfare 2 I just grab marathon. Once I got marathon as my first book, essentially, I'm set. I just run around on submachine guns. Uh, I pick off. I pick off at people, kill them quickly, move on. I usually use ninja, stopping power, cold blooded. Hardline is pointless to me, and I don't use danger close and. What's the last thing lightweight? Lightweight is also a bit pointless to me. But I ha I do have it in a class. But you know, as I'm saying, you gotta You gotta understand. It's not only the same game. God 4 was substantially different from Mono 2. When Mono 2 came out, it essentially rocked the world. Everyone's like, oh my god, this is so different. World at War was decidedly a lot more similar to COD 4 than Modern Warfare 2 was. You know, they had a very severely limited amount of... Uh, see, yeah, 
a limited amount of gun attachments a few decent guns uh they did their own thing they kept the 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 essential general perk layout the way that the perk system was you know perks for equipment and such then it had uh you know if you two we totally got rid of that brought in pro perks brought in this the game ending new different kill streaks and black ops came out and black ops black ops made just about everything run slow you you sprinted extremely shortly for sorry for extremely short distance you what do you call it you reloaded very slow it even became that at one point because my bad wow because i'm such a rusher i ended up having to uh call it what did i say right i used to have to use sleight of hand like absolutely as my book because i was just running around and i didn't i didn't flank as much as i do right now i usually just ran forward shot people you know probably duck behind whatever it had close to duck behind reloaded quick and i was like out and shooting people again it, that didn't work out too very well for me i'm glad i finally found what i actually want wanted to do with the submachine guns i don't use any assault rifles anymore at all it's just they're just pointless to me I move too slow, I can't strafe quickly, I I rather sacrifice the long range distance, the long range distance capabilities, just for that. But, alas, I only have Modern Warfare 3 with different strike packages and different this and they change up the way a lot of the perks and stuff would, they split up. The co essentially cold blooded perk, which was Ghost in Black Ops Cold Blood in Modern Warfare 2, into two different perks, which was never there before. The essentially assassin perk was always there. You just wouldn't be seen on radar, you know. It prevents you from Doctor from radar. <sighs> the other additions, you know, protecting from air support and stuff, were only added in uh, Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops. And they made that entire entirely different perk and an entirely different tier. So they tried stuff new. Now I ain't saying that as I say, I'm not saying they're the best games ever, I'm not saying they're the worst games ever. All I'm saying is if you haven't played the damn game for more than I don't know, maybe an hour or something, and you have no idea how the hell the game actually is supposed to work, or how different or alike it is to the newer games then don't make a comment after all i've just said you know look black ops 2 is supposedly going to use a point system for his class depending on what guns and attachments and perks and stuff you pick but depending on how fast you fill up between the maximum amount of points that you could use to build a class so you could go with all perks and have no gun just a knife you could again I'm so sorry <laughs> I'm really sad yeah again you could go with one perk and a bunch of like tricked out guns two primaries with two attachments on each and a whole lot of other good stuff all that all that you know and the last thing well so yeah so you as you can see it's it is pretty different it will be pretty different i i'm waiting i want to i want i'm actually anxious to see what it's going to be like but that aside the last thing i want to touch on before i run out of time because i am running out of time right now is that to all you people who keep saying that you know battlefield 3 is better game and this and that and whatever it really it's really right there the game plays a lot more a lot more similar to the Call of Duty franchise than previous Battlefield games and here's the scoreboard so if that's what you're thinking of you know using in your argument then 
I suggest you drop it because if you wanted a game that was really like different from Call of Duty and stuff, play something like Bad Company too. See how much you like that game over this Battlefield 3 that you that you see that everybody seems to love. But anyway, that's the end of my commentary. I'm out of time. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you enjoyed. Watch favorite, you know, like, favorite, subscribe, whatever you want. And I will see you guys next time. I know it kind of dragged on at the scoreboard screen. But, oh well. Have a good time, everybody. Laters.